Hi, my name is Carrie with EatingOnDime.com and today we're making homemade cornbread. However, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade cornbread mix so you can get the taste of the homemade cornbread without all the work. Stay tuned. <music> homemade cornbread mix today. Back in the day, I used to buy a cornbread mix at the grocery store and I loved how you could just throw it in a bowl. You can just add your liquid ingredients and then throw it in the oven. It was so simple and easy to make. However, once I started making homemade cornbread, I found that homemade cornbread is a lot better. So I decided to start making my own homemade cornbread mixes. So what we're doing is the hard work today, we're gonna prep some mixes, throw them in the pantry, and then when we want cornbread during the week or in two weeks, I'll just pull one out, toss it in, add the wet ingredients, and throw it in the oven. So you're getting all the flavors of homemade cornbread, but we're gonna save you a ton of time. So today we're, we're gonna have chili, and I wanted to make some mini cornbreads. Mini cornbreads are like this cornbread mix, but it's in like a little mini muffin pan. Um, because one of my kids calls them mini breads and loves them. So I thought instead of just making cornbread for one night, let's make cornbread for three nights and I'll have two left over in the pantry. So I wanted to hop on here and show you how easy it is. If you want the link for the full recipe that I'm going to do today, you'll find a link in the description or you can always say recipe below and we'll send it to you. Let's make some mixes guys. This is a sweet cornbread mix, so if you do not like a sweet cornbread mix, you can eliminate the sugar or, or lower the sugar content. Okay, so what you do is you get these freezer bag holders. I'll include a link for those as well. It's in the recipe as well. And what these do is hold your bag open. And the reason we're going to do that is because like for example, when we dump in the cornmeal, we'll go cornmeal, cornmeal, cornmeal. When we're doing the salt, 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 salt. So that way it's so much faster to do. So I'm making three cornbread mixes. You can make as many as you want. You can even make um, enough to last you through winter. You know, if you're eating cornbread once a week, you know, it'd be really easy to do. Okay, so I got my bag holders on. The thing that's really great about these bag holders is they adjust. So since I'm just doing the quart size baggies, I'm gonna leave them short. But when we use our gallon size baggie for our freezer meal prep, then we would, use, we would lengthen them. Okay, so we're gonna start off with flour. I'm gonna add a cup of flour to each one. Now you could use a whole wheat flour. You can also use a gluten-free one-to-one flour. So I have made my homemade cornbread mix with a gluten-free flour and it works great as well. Just make sure you get the one-to-one. -one. That means you're measuring one-to-one -one on the flour and it has all the extra ingredients that you need to make the cornbread amazing. Okay, don't ever pack your flour in. You just kind of scoop it. Usually I use a knife, but I didn't grab one, so I'm just using my finger today and you just slide it over to get the excess off. Dump that in. Slide it off, get the excess off, okay? See how I just went ahead and added one to each one? Super simple, right? Okay, then we're going to do cornmeal. Just plain old yellow cornmeal. Same thing, you don't pack it, you just swipe it off to level it but you're not, oh, you're not packing it. Okay, so far so good, right? Then we're gonna throw in sugar. Oh, I forgot my sugar, let me go grab it. Okay, sorry about that. Not prepared, right? That's a great question. No, just plain old cornmeal. You don't need to use anything self-rising because we're gonna add our baking powder and our salt. That way we have control over whether it rises or not. And then we need sugar. The original recipe calls for a half. I'm gonna do a third a cup today because the sugar can vary however much you want it to vary, but to help save a little bit 
on sugar. If you're trying to avoid sugar, you could easily do a baking sugar substitute in here. I've done that before and it works great. Then we need salt. If you want that recipe, guys, the recipe is in the link in the description or just say recipe below and we will send you to show you how easy it is to do this. If you don't want to use baggies as well, you can also do mason jars. We've done that as well. Right now we're using them for my smoothie packs in the freezer, but I would like to get some more. Okay, so now we're going to need three teaspoons in each bag. Oh my hands, I'm making a mess of myself. One more. Okay, we're done. That's how you make cornbread mix. Okay, so what I like to do is I don't even shake them up or anything. I just kind of get the air out. And I'll, I like, I will usually have, if you're doing mason jars, they look really pretty in your pantry, or you can keep these in the freezer to get them to last a little bit longer. That's fine too. Um, but I also like to print out the recipe card and just lay them with them in the pantry. So like if I have a little plastic bin, I'll just throw the recipe card printed out from eatingonadime.com. So that way I know how much milk, oil, eggs, all of that that I need to finish the cornbread. So let me show you, now that that's done, let me show you how easy it is to assemble a cornbread mix into cornbread. Let me clean this up and move this out of the way. Okay, so let's pretend, let's go to pretend land and these are in my pantry and we want cornbread tonight. This is how easy it is to make. But now remember, this is not a cornbread mix. This is a homemade mix. So you're gonna get the, all the delicious flavors of homemade cornbread without all the work. So we did all the work already. We had to clean up one time. You can make a ton of these. I only made three, but you can make 10, 20, however many you need. We're gonna need a mixing bowl and something to start with. We're going to need one cup of milk, one egg, I need to grab the vegetable oil and then some vegetable oil. You can do, let me make sure. Yeah. You can also do melted butter if you want to. That's really good in cornbread and you can use any kind of oil you want to. Avocado oil is really good. So then I'm going to just quickly break apart that egg, get it broken apart just like you would if you were making a store-bought mix. Just sloshed a little on me, such a struggle. Okay, so now I pulled this mix out of my pantry. Remember, we're pretending. I'm gonna give it a quick shake. That is the assembling of kind of like mixing your dry ingredients in another bowl. We don't have to dirty up a bowl because it's all in here. We're gonna toss this in. And mix it up. See how easy that is? Like virtually no mess. You're like, all you're gonna have is a measuring spoon that's dirty and a bowl. And then of course your pan that you're cooking it in. Look at that, cornbread ready to go. Hello, give me some hearts if you love that. Isn't that so easy to do? It's a game changer guys. Just spend five minutes making up several and then you can have homemade cornbread whenever you want. Now that it's mixed up, this is when you're going to add whatever you want to add. So if you like whole kernel corns or cream corn in your cornbread, you could throw that in now. If you want jalapenos in there, throw it in now. If you want bacon, throw it in now. Cheddar cheese, throw it in now. The options, so you can take this one cornbread mix and make it many, many other ways. You can also throw in um, honey, drizzle a little honey in there. That's delicious as well. So my one of my favorites is honey or jalapeno and cheddar. Dice up some jalapenos, throw them in there, and stir in some cheddar cheese, or green chilies if you don't like jalapenos. Okay, so now 
You can bake it any way you want. You can bake it in a nine by nine pan, a glass pan or metal pan. You can throw it in a cast iron dish. You can double this recipe and throw it in a nine by 13 if you need a bigger crowd. You can do muffins or mini muffins. This mix will work for all of that, okay? So with one recipe, just without even changing the recipe, you can make mini muffins, muffins, in the cast iron or in the pan. So it's four ways. And then think about all the ways you could change up this recipe. So you can take one recipe and have cornbread every week and nobody's gonna realize they're eating the same cornbread recipe because you can change it up to suit what you're having that day. Okay, I'm just spraying these mini muffins with non-stick spray. And I'm just gonna pour these in. Kind of made a little mess there. That's okay. I love these mixing bowls from Amazon. There's like a four pack and they have all different kinds of sizes. I love that they're plastic because it's easier for the kids to use because they're not as heavy, especially little kids and they can help in the kitchen do this. Just putting a little bit in each one and then I'll go back and any of the ones that are really low, I can add more if needed. You can also, hold on, let me do this and then I'll tell you. I can't talk and spoon apparently. <laughs> let me scrape this out. Then I'm just gonna fill up all the ones that were a little low. You want them pretty close to the same in each muffin pan because then they will cook more evenly if they're pretty close. You could use a cookie scoop to spoon them in that make it even faster. I just didn't want to have to clean one more thing. And then you wouldn't have so many spills on the side as well. We're just gonna scoop that in. Okay, off to the oven these go. Since these are mini muffins, they only take about eight to nine minutes to cook. So it's great when you're needing cornbread on the go or something super fast because you don't have a lot of time, you know, for like a 40 minute cornbread baking. That's how easy it is, guys. Who can do this? Can you? Yes. Okay, so this weekend I'm gonna challenge you to make some cornbread mixes so you can have the convenience of store-bought mixes, but the taste and the money savings of homemade. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. I hope I helped you do something fun and easy in your kitchen that will make you feel like a rock star, a chef in your own kitchen at home. So thanks so much for joining me. If you need the recipe, don't forget, link in the description or just say recipe below and we'll send it to you. Thanks so much. Bye friends.